Let's do a baby hair tutorial and let's also lay down the lace. So this time I'm going to cut the lace before I lay down any glue. Then I'm going to draw a guideline around the lace to match the way that I cut the lace. As you can see, I drew a very flawed line using makeup concealer. I did this because I feel like it might make it look a little bit more natural. And then I laid the glue down in that exact same pattern. Sometimes when you lay the lace down straight, it looks more visible, um, but it really depends on the lace. Sometimes the thinner lace, you really can't see it no matter what. But if you lay it down in this pattern, it's just less detectable. So I'm trying out this new technique and I'm going to see if I'm going to use it like ongoingly. Now that the glue has completely dried, we're going to use the teeth of the comb to press the lace into the glue and any parts of the lace that did not catch the glue, we're going to use an eyebrow razor to shave that excess lace off. That way we don't have any issues with doing our baby hairs. Have you ever noticed when you do baby hairs and there's even the slightest amount of lace left and you try to swoop your edges, the baby hairs get caught up underneath the lace? I know, I hate that, but it's only because there's just too much lace left. So make sure you trim off all the little bitty pieces of lace so that you don't deal with that. Now I'm just using a little bit of spritz to mow the baby hairs down and I want them to stick to her face so I can go ahead and put my edge wrap on and do that whole bit. We're going to also use a hot comb to mold everything into place as well. It's just like an extra layer of security and it gets things nice and flat. So I like to do that step. Now I'm just cutting off the excess lace with my razor and sometimes I'll press the razor like up against my client's face and really start cutting it the way I want it. But be careful when you do that because some sometimes these razors are actually super sharp and you could definitely cut your client's skin if you're not careful, so be careful. Of course, use your edge curler to get in there and swoop those baby hairs. You can flip them up, you can flip them down. It's really just up to you. For me, I it just depends. Like I can't tell you that I do it one way every time. It really just depends. So now I mixed a little bit of non-alcoholic mousse with some heavy hold mousse to create like a mousse cocktail. <laughs> and I'm going to just gently and very like slowly just swoop those baby hairs into place. After I get every piece of hair right where I want it, I will usually go over it with some more spritz. And then I get a blow dryer and I just blow dry it all so that way it stays into place before I put the wrap strip on top. But this was my baby hair tutorial. I hope you guys learned. Ask me any questions that you like in the comments.